Our 907 is a presentation of proclamation designating the month of April 2022 as Sexual Assault Awareness Month in Lake County, and Vice Chair Scott will be reading this proclamation. Good morning, good morning. Come up and join me today. Come up here. Up there? Yeah, come up here. Okay. Don't make me stand alone. That's what it's all about, right? Not standing alone? <laughs> Great. I'm going to start reading here. The Board of Supervisors, County of Lake, State of California proclamation designating the month of April 2022 as Sexual Assault Awareness Month in Lake County. And thank you for coming and standing with me today because, as I said, it's all about not standing alone and having others to, to lean on when you need assistance. Whereas in 2021, Lake County agencies responded to the need of at least 201 sexual assault victims and their significant others and or family members. And whereas no one person, organization, agency, or community can eliminate sexual assault on their own, and the partnership between public and private Lake County agencies is invaluable. And whereas child sexual abuse prevention must be a priority to confront the reality that children are being abused. One in six boys and one in four girls will experience a sexual assault before the age of 18. And I'd have to say those are numbers that are being reported. It's probably higher than that. Whereas the Lake County Resource Center has been instrumental in leading the way in the County of Lake in addressing sexual assault by providing 24 hour hotline service, continuing support, advocacy, and um, accompany victims and survivors on their, and their significant others. And whereas ending sexual assault in Lake County must include active public and private efforts to speak out against sexual violence. And it is time for all of us to start the conversation, take appropriate action and support one another to create a safer environment for all residents. And whereas the staff and volunteers at the Lake Family Resource Center, Rape Crisis Center work year round to encourage every person to speak out against sexual violence and to support survivors by providing prevention, education, and survivor empowerment information. And whereas the Lake Family Resource, Resource Center and the District Attorney's Office, Victim Witness Division, local law enforcement agencies, hospitals, and schools have set um, an important example of how um, collaborative relationships improves the quality of service for those impacted by sexual violence. Now, therefore, be proclaimed that the Board of Supervisors of the County of Lake does hereby designate the month of April 2022 as Sexual Assault Awareness Month in Lake County, April 6th as Sexual Assault um, Awareness Day in Action of Lake County, and urges all government, schools, businesses, and community members to participate in the sponsorship events this month to increase awareness and public support for creating communities free from sexual exploitation. Passed and adopted this 12th day of April, 2022. We have pins if people want them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why do you stop? Okay, stand on this side, that was pretty good. Okay. All right, so the 201 is the known number of sexual assault survivors in Lake County. Um, so if you do the math on that, it comes out to an average of three a week. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, somebody is sexually assaulted in our county. So the 201 is also just the known numbers of survivors. 63% go unreported. So to all those unreported sexual assault survivors, please know that we believe you. Our Rape Crisis Center has offered 2,000 services to survivors for two, 200, oh, 2021, sorry. <laughs> those services include providing support during police interviews, forensic exams, counseling, and temporary shelter. You do not need to report the assault to authorities to get services from us, and our services are all free and confidential. And it also doesn't matter when the sexual assault was placed. It could have been 25 years ago, and you can still come and see us. So we also have some things, like Family Resource Center has some things that we've been doing for the month. Um, we have 201 teal flags right outside our office in Kelseyville for our survivors. On Wednesday the 27th, we have Denim Day. And for those who may not know, Denim Day started in 1999 when an Italian Supreme Court overruled a sexual assault conviction because they said that the survivor's jeans were too tight. So she must have consented. So we're asking everyone to wear jeans on Wednesday the 27th. We also want to thank you guys for this and for the proclamation because we know sexual assault is not an easy conversation, so thank you.